Okay. BMW E36 centre vent um, removal. I'm making this little video because a number of the videos on YouTube leave out one uh, tiny but uh, important step that makes the whole job much easier and better. Uh, and that is removing a screw from the vent duct inside there. So uh, here goes. Some of the following footage was shot in the course of replacing the heater inside here. So some of this stuff in some of the shots has been removed. That's got nothing to do with this job. It doesn't need to come off. And equally this doesn't have to come out to replace the heater. So I'm just reusing some footage. Right, radio first. Flip back the little clips or little covers each side. See that? Do uncover the little screw. The Torx T10. Or a 2.5 mil Allen key, a hex key, both seem to fit. Either one works. Okay, and uh, out it comes. Now apparently you just keep unscrewing and unscrewing till it won't go any further. So what you're actually doing is unscrewing this, winding this back and in. If you wind it the other way this will come out and secure the radio. So you're winding it back and in until the point where the radio just slides out. So take off the aerial and this thing here. Now this has a diagram on it that shows you're supposed to have a screwdriver in there. So pull this very hard and it comes so far and then the rest of the way with a screwdriver, believe it or not, there we go. Takes a big amount of leverage because it's pulling out all those pins. And apparently, that is what you're supposed to do. Wow. And now the um, ventilation panel. Just reach in the top there, it's spring loaded, reach in the top and pull quite hard. Right, so I have to lever a little bit there and then pull on this side here. It's pretty stiff, it's spring loaded in with spring clips. There's a lamp you can see. Okay. Push clip in, and then that swings over. Cool. And the other connector. Just pulls out. Right. Put that in the same place.
Now to take the centre air vent out, that's two screws there and there. which I will now undo. Now with those two screws removed this is supposed to come out there's a tab there that locks in behind and holds it so it has to swing sideways but at the back there you can just see where it plugs in effectively into the air duct And that air duct is held by a screw at the far left. Just see it. Now as this comes out, the back of it has to move sideways and the air duct won't let it. So the answer is to slacken that screw and then it all becomes quite easy. Without that, taking this out and replacing it, getting the end into the air duct, is extremely difficult. Now to slacken off that screw you can reach through here with about a four inch screwdriver loosen it off. So this tab, this end, fits in behind there, which is why this has to swing to the left to slide out. Uh, you can see the air duct into which it has to fit back there. I'm not, I'm not going to pull this connecting thing off to take it out any further. And that obviously it's obviously a lot easier for this to fit into that if that can move freely. So I'm going to take that little screw out completely now. Because I think it's easier with it out completely. Yeah. yeah, so that's so that's the screw in question. It's actually a lot easier to do when you're not trying to juggle a light, a camera, point at things while doing the job. So now I'm going to put this back in this corner first. The front of that there has to wriggle into the air duct, so I'm going to put the camera down and use both hands for that. And that actually slid in surprisingly easily using both hands to do it. And uh, that just pushes in there. There are two screws to do up at the front there and there and of course we'll put the screw back in the air duct bracket back there. I could actually get it started with my fingers enough so it doesn't fall out.
So then there's just the two screws there and there. So now the radio, three connectors. Make sure the tabs each side are fully back. That needs screwing back a bit. So the 2.5 mil hex key. Now this plugs into that, this pulls back, <coughs> slots over the little pips here and pushes in to lock it, I think. That, uh, down, push with a mighty push. fits in the back some angle I'll have to put it up it's the official way to get that in and the other one plugs in the other corner Slide radio into place. And screw up the little catches there once it's snugly in. And now just screwing it back into place. It's quite a long way. Ventilation panel. Now this has two connectors on it, that magnificent thing there and a little one there. So the way this one works, that clip has to be down like that before you push it in. As you push it in, you can leave her up there, or swing into place and it clicks this bit. You have to press that in to remove it. So, it's in like that. This thing slides up and pulls it into engagement at the same time. Click. There we are. The other one goes in there. And then that just, as spring clips each side, that just pushes it. So, well that's it. Okay, so that's it. God, I need to clean this camera lens. Mm.